bunnies. This is going to be um, something new for my channel. All right, so we're gonna do pick a pile, pile one, pile two, or pile three. Hopefully this reading doesn't get to be super long, but it's going to be called, How Will They Love You? And it's going to be an intimate sexual read. So it will be 18 plus only, okay? And I'll make sure to put that in the description box. Um, the cards that I have are pretty racy. So we're not going to be showing any cards on here, but I will draw them and I will do my best to <laughs> explain the energy on the card without going overboard and getting shadow bands by YouTube. So we're going to try this and we're going to see what we come up with. All right. I do need to get another deck though. So one second. Okay, so let's start with pile one. I'm going to use the Tarot of Sexual Magic along with my regular tarot deck and my Filthy Fantasies Red Hot Hardcore Twin Flame messages. Um, the only cards I will be able to show on here are my regular standard tarot deck. So why are these upside down? Let's fix these. Okay, that's good. All right. So we're going to start out with the standard right away tarot. For pile number one, those that picked pile number one, how does this person feel about them? Their next sexual encounter, how will this person feel about them? How will this person feel about them? Those that picked pile number one. Their next sexual intimate encounter, how will the person feel about them? So I saw someone do one of these reads and I thought, how fun. I want to do that. So thought we'd try it. And as usual, welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. Pile number one, how does this person feel about them? The one, the next person they will be intimate with. Wow, pile number one. <laughs> they are in love with you. <laughs> this is like a very deep spiritual connection. This is my twin flame card. <laughs> oh, man. So your next sexual encounter will be with um, probably your twin flame or your twin soul. Very, very deep, beautiful connection. We'll get one more card to tell me how this encounter will be like, what it will be like. One more card, please, Spirit. Wow, it's also a very healing type intimacy. Holy smokes. So this is going to be the type of encounter that heals wounds right it's it's where you both feel free of judgments you feel like you have grown to the point where now you know being intimate with this person is a healthy choice for both of you right because you have learned all of the lessons from your past sexual encounters and you know exactly what it is that you want. And that's why you choose to be intimate with this person. It's a personal choice, right? It's a choice that says I'm no longer living in this um, unconscious energy. Like now I know what it is that I want. I'm making a conscious choice to love this person and to make love with this person. <laughs> Oh, Lord. All right. For those of you turning in for just a good time, like... <laughs> uh, pile number one. You're not just having sex. You're making love. All right. Let's see what else um, we can dive into this energy. 
and try to keep these readings short and sweet. Now it's over 15 minutes for each sign, or for each pile. All right, what else is pile number one? You need to know about this person and their first sexual encounter. How will this person love them? Wow. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to show what I can in this in this um, cards. We have this one. This one's not bad, so we can definitely show that one. So the encounter is going to be very romantic, right? It's going to start out with a communication as in like a per the person calling you or contacting you in some way and they're going to woo you and it's going to be very romantic. Um, they'll probably come with flowers. They're going to pamper you and sort of um, sweet talk you, not in like a negative way, like trying to get something from you, right? It's going to be a genuine honey, um, what's it called? Oh, what am I trying to say here? A genuine honey dripping um, connection. So like, what do I mean by honey dripping? So it's like a sweet talking, romantic type energy, but it's authentic. It's not like the player trying to get in your pants type energy. This is a legit beautiful connection. You have the two of cups. So this shows me that this person has incredible amounts of emotion for you okay they see you as their king or their queen and the ten of wands shows me that <laughs> it's possibly you guys will be out in nature when you have your first sexual encounter how they are going to love you is going to be like outside <laughs> if you look at the card they're outside right or it could be like in a barn or something. This, the next card, the Two of Swords, is like a, it looks like they're in a barn or something. So it could be on a farm. <laughs> That's going to not make sense to a lot of people. But um, they're outdoors, pretty much, in both of the cards. You know, even in this, this looks like a shed or a barn, right? So I feel like you're both going to be very caught up in the moment. It's going to be very spontaneous. Okay, where are we at? Um, craziness. All right, let's get, let's move on to the... Red Hot Hardcore Twin Flame Messages. What else does this person need to know about this spicy connection with this person? You know what? I am going to pull from one more deck. Let's try the, the love oracle. What else do we need to know about how this person is going to love on pile number one when they have their first sexual encounter? We need to know about this connection. For those that chose pile number one, what else do we need to know about this first sexual encounter? Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel. For source messages, what do we have for pile one? <laughs> wow, look, I told you it was going to be something spontaneous. It's unexpected. They're going to reach out. Right? Through the phone, somehow, a text, a call that says, hey, like, let's get together. Told you. Craziness. All right, let's dive into their deepest, darkest desires. And then we're going to move on to pile number two. <clears throat> what else says pile number one needs to know about... Their person's deepest, darkest sexual fantasies and what they can look forward to in their first sexual encounter as to how this person is going to love them. Okay, so how do I say this without getting shadow banned? 
Um, there's going to be lots of fingers in places. <laughs> um, tight places and lots of fluids flowing. Okay. And, you know, on the card it says, my eyes roll upwards. So this is going to be a very ecstatic experience. This person really likes touching you with their fingers. So, and it's going to cause ecstasy for both of you. We'll just say that. <laughs> Let's get two more cards and we're moving on to pile two. Okay, the next card says, what would you do to me if I was helpless? So, there is the energy of wanting to be completely dominated by this person, right? Or they want to be dominated by you, okay? So, take it how it resonates. Either they like to be dominated or you like to be dominated. And, you know, they want you to be helpless and to be completely at their mercy. Or they want to be completely at your mercy, so, it could be, there could be um, a dom and a sub in this, right? In this connection. Completely consensual, of course. What is the, first, or the final card for pile number one? As far as their first sexual encounter with the person... Oh, see, there is definitely some dom and sub energy here. <laughs> this next card says, Shall I use the belt or switch? Know my hand. I want to feel your flesh as it trembles and stings. So, <laughs> there is the confirmation, um, pile number one. Your person is definitely into the dom and sub relationship. And you guys are going to have lots of steamy um, nights further on with this type of um, energy um, and it's going to be completely mutual and you know what it's not just a dom sub relationship this is a genuine love connection so anytime these type of relationships are based on genuine love and respect for each other it's absolutely beautiful and, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that type of connection Right, as long as it's mutual and you have a safe word and all of that beautiful, um, you know, as long as you respect each other's boundaries and all of that stuff, right? Remember to always have a safe word, <laughs> pile number one. All right, so your first encounter with this person is going to be pretty racy, they're into some pretty racy things. Incredible. All right, we're going to move on to pile number two. Okay, pile number two. Hello. Um, I'm going to start out with the standard tarot deck to see how your person that you're going to have um, your next sexual encounter with, how they feel about you first, and then we'll move on to all the juicy stuff. Okay, so how does this person feel about pile number two, and how is the energy going to start out in this sexual connection? How does this person feel? about pile number two. Pile number ones was definitely unexpected energy. Very loving, also very kinky. <laughs> All right, how does this person feel about pile number two? The person right now watching that picked pile number two. How does this person feel about pile number two? How do they feel about them? Ooh, your card flew out. Okay, so this energy is a little bit different. Your person feels like, um, they feel like you're a little bit closed off to them, okay? They might also feel a little bit vulnerable, and so they might keep certain things from you. Um, they're not as open. I feel like you both are not as open. You're sort of hiding and holding things back from each other. They definitely feel like you hold a lot back from them. Okay, so we're going to draw another card. Okay, how else 
What else needs to be conveyed to pile number two about this connection? It feels like your person may hold back a little bit out of fear, or they may feel like you're holding back out of fear. Okay. Whoa, that card flew. All right, so we have King of Swords, and it did come out in reverse. So this person in the past may have been very sort of cold and detached, but the King of Swords came out in reverse. So that means this person is ready to open up to you, okay? They're ready to show parts of themselves. And this also shows me that you might be open as well. Let's get a card on your energy, okay? So how does pile number two feel about this person? How does pile number two feel about this person? The person on their mind. How does pile number two feel about this person? Oh, okay. So you might have feel like this person may have ghosted you or left you out in the cold in the past. And that's why you might be a little bit closed off to this person. Okay. You might feel like they were not open with you enough. But the energy also is of you not being open with them. But it feels like at this point now you're both ready to open up to each other. I'm going to pull one more card to see what the energy is like. What is going to be the outcome for these two when they both decide to open up to each other? What will the energy be like then when they come together? Okay. Whoa. So we have... We have the energy of coming together very quickly. So there's going to be some fast forward movement. I see that both of you want to come together very quickly. Okay. It's going to be fiery, passionate. Um, it's going to move very fast. <laughs> that being said, let's see what your first sexual encounter is going to be like. Pile number two, what's it going to be like when they finally come together, okay? What's it going to be like when they finally come together? Pile number two. And I will show the cards if I can. Pile number two, when they come together with this person, what's it going to be like? First sexual encounter. All right. Okay. Let me just cover this up. So we have 10 of swords. This is a hard energy to interpret. So the woman in the card is crying, right? But the thing about the energy is like sometimes when people are together, and the energy is very strong and emotions are flowing, you can cry when you are in intimacy. <laughs> so that's what it feels like to me. It feels like this energy is going to be very overwhelming and it's going to unleash a lot of emotions. I see right here the cup being spilled. So it feels like the emotions are going to overflow for both of you. And one or both of you may cry during <laughs> the encounter. We also have the mirror, which shows me that, like, you guys are going to be mirroring each other's emotions in the sexual encounter. So it's going to be very passionate and overwhelming for both of you. What else do we have? First sexual encounter for pile number two. Wow, there's going to be lots of booty grabbing <laughs> on both sides. See? Um, also, number six is the number of a spiritual connection. So you guys do have a deep soul connection. I'm not going to say necessarily it's a twin flame because I don't know just yet. 
Um, but it feels like you you have had past lives before together. You know, the six is always the card for me of a deep soul connection, right? Um, the bunny shows that there's going to be a lot of fast, aggressive sex. The bunny represents, you know, um, fertility and, uh, you know, you ever heard the saying, um, screwing like bunnies? <laughs> so your person has this very fiery, passionate energy. They're going to like it very hard and rough. And um, I see that, you know, you, you like it like that as well. But there's also a dove, which shows me that there's a very holy type feeling when you guys get together. That's why it's going to cause tears for both of you. Your person could also be a Capricorn. There's a, a goat on this card, right? Um, or it could just represent that they're very horny. <laughs> oh, Lord. I feel like there could be something with the crown chakra as well with your person because they do have a hat on. They could have like maybe a blocked crown chakra. They definitely like booty, okay? So there's going to be a lot of booty grabbing, a lot of booty slapping. Um, they might caress on your bum when they're, you know, doing the deed with you. Or you will grab theirs. All right, one more final card. Um, we have a Knight of Swords. And again, we have someone worshiping the booty. So it's just reiterating the booty. Um, I won't say what that male is going to do next. I'll leave it up to your imagination. But yeah. <laughs> the mouth is getting very close to the booty. So they might kiss that area. They might, you know, lick it, suck it, whatever. <laughs> Trying to stay um, a little bit censored for YouTube. This is the best. I love doing these. You know what? I'm going to do some of these reads more often. This is really fun. Okay, so we're going to pull from the Love Oracle. What else do we need to know about this connection and how it's going to play out for pile number two? And we'll do pile number three. All right. So what's it going to be like for pile number two? How is this person going to love pile number two when they first are into it? Woof. Ooh, look at that. We have mystery. So your person could be a Scorpio or you could be a Scorpio. Um, the energy is very sensual and mysterious, right? You might not even, even have an idea that this person wants you this bad, right? It's going to come out of nowhere. It's going to come out of the blue and you're going to be like, what? It's possible that you guys could also make love outdoors. They're here. They're outside. Um, they're also outside here, right? But they're also in the bedroom in this one. So you never know, okay? All right. Um, We're going to move on to the Red Hot Twin Flame Fantasies. Why is this card like this? And I will censor these as best as I can because these are very racy. All right, pile number two. What else? Why are these cards like this? Hold on. Some of these are the wrong way. I need to fix them. What else does pile number two need to know about their first sexual encounter with this person on their mind? We are going to do three of these cards and we're going to move on to pile number three. All right. What can you tell me about this connection? What can you tell me about this connection for pile number two? Actually, I think I did two of these. I'm not sure. Well, pile number two. What do they need to know? Okay, it says... Your touch tries to make me part my legs further to give you a better view. So um, it's going to be 
like very, I told you that you're going to cry, right? Because the feelings are going to be so overwhelming. There's going to be this energy of like, um, almost like a desperate need, right? And when this person touches you, it's going to feel so out of control, good, I guess, like really blissful. And it's going to be one of these energies of like, the energy is a, an energy of like want and need. You know what I'm saying? Um, when they touch you, you're just, you're, your body's going to naturally respond with passion. The legs are going to open and you're going to be able to not even control the feelings that your body is responding with, right? Because it feels so incredible. It's like your body's going to feel almost like it's portraying you at this point, right? Okay. What else does pile number two need to know? This person might really like and enjoy watching you, um, you know, get pleasure as well. Hold on. Okay, let me read this card. Okay. So this is the card of a sex toy. I'm just going to say that. I can't say what the card says because I will definitely get shadow banned on YouTube. But um, it's going to involve, your, your sexual encounter with this person is going to involve a toy um, being inserted in an area <laughs> um, that is very wet and moist, okay? And... Um, like I said, they like to watch you receiving pleasure. That's what I'm going to say. So the legs are opening, there is a toy, and there is lots of watching. <laughs> One more card for pile number two. Very juicy pile number two, literally. Last card for pile number two, please. And we're going to move on to pile number three. Okay, let me read what this says. Okay, so this is about the breast. Um, it says, you pinch my nips hard. So they are a breast man or, you know, person um, along with a butt man or butt, butt person, whatever. You know, and we're not doing sexual gender here. And they are sucking on said body parts very nice so they love to kiss and to pinch and to pull and to roll so they're gonna spend a lot of time on your breast area or chest area however you want to apply it um i hope you like that reading pile number two very very naughty all right we're gonna go on to pile number three okay hello pile number three well, we are going to pull a Rider Waite tarot card first to see how this person feels about you, okay, and how you feel about them as well. So how does pile number three, the person on their mind that is watching right now, how does this person feel about them, the person that they're going to have their next sexual encounter with, how do they feel about pile number three? Okay. How does this person feel about pile number three? Oof, so many cards want to come out and then they just don't. This person is very private. You might be dealing with an introvert. I feel like they don't want you to know how they feel. Pile number three. Okay, pile number three. How does this person feel about pile number three? Four of Swords. That's a very confusing energy. So again, there's this <laughs> energy of an introvert who sort of keeps their energy to themselves. 
Let's try again. How does this person feel about pile number three? It's strange because I'm also getting this energy of like, they, they almost put you on a pedestal. They see you as like someone very sacred and holy, right? It feels to me like they're praying. It's weird. And you know, the energy of the church with the, the, the church window, the stained glass. Oh yeah. See, they do. So they, they're pile number three. This person sees you as someone who's very successful, someone very high above them. It's like they put you on a pedestal, right? They see you as almost royal. It feels almost like they don't feel like on your level. Like they feel like you might be better than them, which is really strange. Okay, how does pile number three feel about this person? There's this energy of them feeling almost not good enough for you. All right, how does pile number three feel about this person? Whoa, whoa, pile number three, you are totally in love with this person. <laughs> That you are totally in love with them. And they're sitting over here feeling like they're not even on your level. Like they're not even good enough for you. Right? They see you as someone very successful and almost sacred to them. Right? It's like they prayed for someone like you. Wow. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> so, all right. What is your first sexual encounter with this person going to be like? For those that picked pile number three, um, what is this first sexual encounter going to be like? And how is this person going to love them? How is this person going to love pile number three? How is this person going to love pile number three? How are they going to love them? How are they going to love on pile number three? Okay, <laughs> we have four of swords again. So, <laughs> uh, your person is very, very introverted. They are keeping lots of secrets. It's like they almost don't want anyone to know. But there is a fascination with your mouth, if you know what I mean. Um, it's almost like this person is, tr is trying to coerce this female into... You know, either sucking on their fingers or sucking on something. Right? So they might have a secret desire to, um, you know, do oral things, but they I feel like they won't tell you. They might be afraid to voice that with you, um, but they will give you hints because they will, you know, maybe, you know, rub your bottom lip with, you know, their finger to try to give you a hint that that's what they want. They might um, even suck on your fingers or allow you to suck on their fingers. So just, you know, pay attention to those cues because I feel like they might be very shy because they see you as like someone, um, they sort of put you on this holy goddess pedestal. <laughs> Or God, pedestal, take it how it resonates. Wow. See, yes, there's a lot of secret hidden emotions here. We have the high priestess. So, again, it's it's your person being secretive. They don't want me to know how this, this um, is going to unfold. Very strange. They might be very introverted. You might be dealing with someone who's very shy. But look, once again, it feels like he's putting, you know, a masculine is putting the feminine on a pedestal. He sees her as the key to unlocking his heart. He sees her as very magical. You know, the cat represents sensuality and magic. So your your encounter with this person is going to be very magical and very, very um, 
sensual. It feels very intimate and loving, okay? Because they put you on a pedestal, they want to please you. There's also a lot of passion. The pomegranate represents passion, right? One final card for pile number three. Oh, yes, a lot of passion. Again, we have Queen of Wands. Again, it's the energy of a masculine seeing this feminine as like a goddess, right? They're, the Queen of Wands is about a feminine who's very sexual and seductive. They love to watch you. It fuels their fire to watch you undress. So if you look, this, you know, the masculine is sitting there. He's already undressed, but he's watching her undress. Okay. It could take place outside. There is a log underneath them, right? If you look there, he's already fully unclothed. And look, he wears glasses, right? Your person may or may not wear glasses, or those could be hers. But it looks like one or both of you wears glasses. One of you does, all right? He's already undressed, and he's just eating up every inch of her. He's watching her undress, and that's what turns him on. It fuels his passion, right? Even in this one, she's he's completely undressed. She still has a little bit of clothes on, see? So there's something about watching this female undress or be half clothed that drives your person crazy. Your next sexual encounter, this person is going to watch you every step of the way. They're going to watch your facial expressions and see exactly how whatever it is they're doing is affecting you. And that's what turns them on is watching you get turned on. It, they could be a fire sign. There's an energy of a lot of fiery passion or they have fire in their charts. We are going to move on to the love oracle for pile number three. And I'm going to end with my red hot hardcore twin flame messages. I will show what cards I can. Like I said, I don't want to get shadow banned. <laughs> so all right, what else does pile number three need to know about how this person is going to love them when they have their sexual encounter? With this person. All right, what else does pile number three need to know about how this person is going to love them? All right, ooh, we have liquid courage. I told you, your person is very shy. Pile number three, you guys might start out having to have a couple of drinks because they're going to be so nervous. They're going to be shaking in their boots. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. By the way, for all of you that are wondering, I picked pile number three. <laughs> so, <laughs> I had no idea what, what was in store for me, but this is quite a delightful energy. All right, let's see what else. And it makes perfect sense, right? I know my energy can be very intimidating for some, for sure. All right, what else? This pile number three needs to know about this first sexual encounter and how this person will live on them. I've been told I'm very intimidating. I don't mean to be. Wow, we have music. So, oh my goodness, this person might send you music all the time or they may play a song for you. They're musically inclined, that's for sure. There's probably going to be some drinking and some music playing in the background. It's going to give them that sexy feeling that they sort of, you know, need to kickstart them so that they're not so shy. Just know, pile number three, it's going to take a whole lot of courage for your person to come forward and make that first move. So when they do, try to be gentle with them, okay? <laughs> Because it's not easy for them. Your person is very shy. They are an introvert. And they're not used to making the first move. But they desperately want a piece of you, pile number three. And so that in itself is going to make them be unusually brave. But they might need a few drinks 
or something in their system to um, relax them first. You know, whether that's drink or, you know, some kind of substance. <laughs> We're not going to, you know... Um, we're not going to condone anything like that, but, you know, marijuana or something, some kind of substance to relax them. All right. What are the final cards we need to know for pile number three and how this person um, is going to love them when they have their first sexual encounter with this person? I'm so glad I did this reading. What a fun reading, right, guys? I hope you guys like it. If you love it, smash the like button, share with all your sexy friends, and we can all rejoice in the the fluids that are flowing. <laughs> uh, I love you all so much. Pile number three. Final three cards for pile number three. If I can show them, if I can um, read them, I will. I'm going to read this. Um, I'm not going to read it out loud because it might be inappropriate. Sorry, it's very long. <laughs> One second. Oh, my. <laughs> okay, so this is about grabbing a certain organ on a masculine um, and um, pushing <laughs> it further into your body. Um, you know, stroking that same organ. And it says... Um, Till you're panting and your hips begin to work. Um, I make a convulsive jerk. Uh, pushing in deeper. So this person, there's an energy of like wanting to completely consume you, pile number three. Once this person is inside of you, it's going to be about how far and how deep and how fast um, they can sort of consummate the... Um, the act of like being inside of you for them the energy of being inside of you is so incredibly intimate that it's it's gonna be like there's this energy of like wanting to possess every inch of you but it also says there's a lot of groaning and trembling so though your person is very shy in 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 real life I feel like when they are intimate with someone, it's going to sort of bring them out of their shell, right? There's going to be lots of moaning, lots of groaning, lots of body shakes and trembles. This connection is going to be very intense, right, for both of you. So they might be very vocal, even though they're very shy um, in, in real life. When they start to enjoy themselves sexually, they're going to be very vocal. They're going to groan. They're going to moan. Right? As they push in deeper. All right. What are the final two cards for pile number three, please? Oh, my God. They're all, they're all collaborating. It says, then I really cause you to, it says, then I cause you to really start panting by giving you long, slow licks. <laughs> from front to back so I hope that's not too much for YouTube um but again it's the energy of either you know the feminine doing this to him or him doing it to her so it's all about mutual pleasure liking to watch each other pleasure the other your person is a giver and you are a giver as well so the energy is absolutely incredible your encounter is going to be like earth shattering <laughs> climaxes pile number three as I feel like all of the piles have been. <laughs> there pretty much has not been a bad connection for any of my piles. Although pile number pile number two, I feel like um, your person is a little bit closed off and so are you. But I feel like. You know, each sexual encounter, you guys will open up more to each other, if that makes sense, okay? It's going to take a lot of sex for you guys to open up to each other. It'll create a lot of intimacy. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I cannot read this on YouTube. It says, let me give it to you. Let me give you what you want. I'll show you. I'll give it to you. Um... I'm, I can't read the rest because I'm not sure if they're going to censor it. But it says, 
you know, something about giving it to someone. Um, and it says, giving you everything you want. Um, you know, things being long and hard. <laughs> I'll try to use code words like that. Um, but that, so <laughs> pile number three, it's really funny because your person seems very shy on the surface, but <clears throat> they're very, um, they're very sure about their sexual proneness. And so I feel like they will surprise you when they get in the bedroom. It's going to be like, they're going to be, <laughs> it's going to feel really sort of crazy and you're going to be like wow like you're not going to expect this person might like even start talking dirty and being like yeah take it out you know I'll give it to you whatever and it's going to shock you because you're going to be like this person is so conservative and shy on the surface and yet they're going to be like the type of person that when they start you know doing the deed they're going to be like you know <laughs> All sorts of opening up um, with sexual innuendos and um, moans and groans and talking to you, okay? There's a lot of energy of like talking to you dirty when they are in in the, the moment with you, file number three. All right, so that concludes this reading. I hope you enjoyed this. This is really cool. If you guys enjoyed it, show me, okay, by smashing that like button, commenting, um, you know, give me the little blush emojis, whatever it is that you want to do. I love you guys so much. Bye.